Good morning, everyone. Um, my dissertation topic was on advanced construction progress management with the Excel Manager. Um, my supervisor was Professor Tom and co-supervisor Mr. Velko from Excel Tom. This presentation will follow the following structure. So we'll start by presenting the problem statement, uh, objectives and hypotheses. We will show our research methodology. We'll introduce you to some concepts such as progress management and data acquisition. Uh, we'll showcase the progress management case study that we used uh, to earn value analysis and taking some conclusions in the end. So the problem statement. Construction progress management can be a quite demanding task taking into account the complexity of construction sites and diverse factors and events happening during the construction phase. So it requires a careful approach. Construction phase on its own represents roughly 30% of the entire project's cost and traditional methods of controlling its progress are still applied today. These are inefficient, reliant on time consuming and low quality data acquisition methods and manual processing of progress data which can be prone to errors, leading to a lack and difficulty to track productivity and the origin of its issues, as well as cost overruns and project delays. To overcome these, pro these problems, the aim of this study is to provide an accurate digital representation of the construction progress in terms of time, quantity, and costs for an effective progress management to deliver, to deliver projects efficiently on time and on budget. For this, special focus was given to the research of innovative data acquisition and entry methods for construction monitoring, model organization, as well as work breakdown structures and classifications, and also the study of the delay analysis with Bexel Manager software workflows to improve uh, the process of decision making. Our hypotheses as, are as uh, shown here, the improvement of field data acquisition and AEC digital technologies enhances the automated progress management and the accurate generation of as-built and as-planned 4D and 5D models enables fast and improved delay and earn value analysis of construction projects. So here's our research methodology. We just showed how we defined the research scope. We did a literature review and research to define some concepts which um, which after gave us the possibility to, to propose a framework to apply on a case study, and finally doing some conclusions. So the construction progress management is the core link uh, of project management. It monitors and manages the, the development of, on the construction site, playing a crucial role for the project performance. Integrating progress management with BIM brings great improvements to this process by leveraging collaboration, integration, cost and time management, and also communication. The fundamental role of an advanced construction progress management is to compare and analyze the actual state of construction against what was initially planned using BIM technology, communicating it, communicating it in a clear way, which will lead to a faster and more accurate decision making. So these are the sub-processes of, of the workflow, uh, starting by the data acquisition methods and technologies. Progress data can be obtained through photogrammetry, videogrammetry, range images, or laser scanning. And the methods to do so can be manual or through the so well-known drones. And it's important also to mention that the, the selection of these technologies and methods depends on the type of projects and its characteristics and, and check on each time which is more suitable for the project. Next, we have the data processing in which we found two main methods, the scan to beam and scan versus beam. On the first one, the as-built as beam model is generated in an automated way from the point cloud data through knowledge-based approaches and machine learning algorithms. Uh, the second one relies on the match of the point cloud data and the as planned beam model using prox proximity metrics to detect elements present on the construction scene. For progress quantification or assessment in, in on each one, in the first one, it's by the comparison, the comparison between the quantities of work performed directly from the IFC beam model. And on the second one, uh, the comparison is based on the estimation of completed elements from the S point. Uh, the as built point cloud data by proximity to as planned beam model elements. 
uh, after the progress assessment, we, can, we are able to do the, the earned value analysis through the earned value, planned value, and actual costs, which will, which will give us the base to perform some key performance indicators, such as cost variance, so schedule variance, which we can see on the graphic on the right, giving us, giving us some insights of, of the project's performance in terms of times and time and costs. After defining concepts and methods, we arrive on our proposed framework for progress management using IFC, BCF for collaboration and the Bexel manager to, to manage the whole, the whole process. So prior to the progress management itself, the establishment of uh, work breakdown structures and construction sequence is a key step for organizing the project, uh, dividing the project into stages and work packages, enabling an efficient, uh, clear definition of the, of the scope of the project. The activities are usually defined under work packages being related to the individual elements. The interrelation and the linkage between uh, the model elements, uh, schedule information and cost create a perfect scenario for the automation of cash flow analysis. Finally, everything is integrated in one single platform, enabling better planning, visualization and monitoring, facilitating the progress management. So as the construction phase starts, the progress man monitoring starts as well. And in this example, it's present the, the progress tracking of the works completely completed on a monthly basis. For this workflow, we start by creating monthly look ahead plans with element selection sets that are sent to site using BCF files. On site, the site management proceeds to open this file on a beam viewer on site to further select uh, the actual executed elements directly on the viewer. Once finished, once finished, it sends back this information to the project management team, also using BCF files, which is later entered in Bexel to control the percentage of uh, works completed. Here we can see the, the progress entered and the percentage of completion of each element divided by tasks and activities. But the more the project manager can then manage this information and make adjustments according to the site information in a simpler way. In this case, we're showing the, the importance of breaking down the breaking down the different activity layers of the construction elements. In this case, uh, on the concrete columns example, where as according to, to the site information, only reinforcement and formwork were completed and no pouring was performed. So these activities are as zero percent. Uh, furthermore, we can also proceed to control the resources, as shown here. The number of hours of this type of, of labors in this case was higher than than planned, and this will will influence the actual costs of each related uh, activity. So these were other uh, causes of deviations during the the construction that were explored, such as design changes during construction or additional works and variations. And uh, on the top, we can see the comparison between the actual and planned progress via construction simulations with percentage of completion and total cost flow. After updating the schedule and costs, the software um, enables the automated creation of monthly payment certificates and progress reports for communication. In the end, the, the project performance can be analyzed also through Power BI. At the, work at the work packages or activities level, uh, enabling the detailed visualization of performance and better decision-making. So finally, some conclusions on traditional methods, uh, like in productivity, there are error-prone ways of collecting information and data from site. There is a need for innovation and efficient methods uh, to help keeping track of progress, uh, progress improving performance. Analysis of data acquisition technologies reveal the importance of selecting the right tools depending on the type and conditions of the project, keeping in mind data quality requirements, such as level of detail. Approaches to data processing and as built and as planned BIM models comparison uh, still require improvement in their automation and accuracy. Efficient work breakdown structures and model organization are essential for the accurate uh, control of the project progress. At the, at the activities level, then to manage changes to initial plan and dynamic schedule. Bexel Manager, uh, Open Beam Environment, improves communication and leverages collaboration while uh, pro providing complete and reliable control of the whole construction progress management process. Uh, 
uh, the framework proposed applied on the case study attempts to, sample, to simplify and improve the progress management process, providing up-to-date uh, detailed data and information and determining the, pro the progress performance status, enabling reasons and eff effective real-time decision-making. For future research, we propose the implementation of the framework on the real case scenario and evaluate its cap capability in terms of efficiency and also adding different subcontractors to this process. Thank you all for, for your attention.